All right, Tribe, uh, so push-ups are amazing because there are so many different variations that you can do for push-ups, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of mobility, you're not at a level where you can do um, just your average push-ups. So I'm gonna, I've got a friend who is a really amazing and knowledgeable person, subject matter expert on fitness, and exercise science. So um, he is going to help me out with some videos on push-up variations, but I just wanted to start off with some very bone basic, simple stuff. So if you cannot do a push-up just yet, um, maybe you can only do them on your knees. Uh, that is totally fine. But the beauty of that is that you can work different muscle groups. So even if you're on your knees, right, you can bring your hands in a little bit closer and you can work just triceps or you can spread them apart and this will work more of your chest. Um, if, you, if you can do diamond push-ups, that's amazing. But if you can't do them on your knees, start off with bracing more of your body weight uh, of your lower body onto the floor. So this is very much like a cobra push-up. So if you can do a, a strict diamond uh, formation with your hands, um, just bracing more of your weight onto there, that's totally fine. You can work your way up to, but uh, definitely keep track of where you began. So if you could only do, let's say three of those to start with, um, maybe in three weeks, you could do 15 of them. And that is a huge improvement. So the other thing is if you can't quite do the push up, even on your knees, uh, you can definitely brace yourself against something. So piece of furniture, the wall, um, definitely anything. So uh, again, brace yourself and you can do them that way. Um, and again, you can move your hands closer or farther apart to work more and stress more of different muscle groups. So very good tips on if you aren't quite there, you can't quite do push-ups yet. Uh, very good tips and tricks to kind of get better but you definitely want to eventually get down onto the floor to do your push-ups. So again, you could be on your knees and then eventually straighten out. Um, once, when you start in, and you've straightened out and you can't quite get to parallel, uh, definitely just try to go, you know, maybe a quarter of the way. Maybe you can go all the way down. Um, if you can hold yourself in that position, all the better. So think about those things, keep those in mind. Uh, again, I've got a really good friend who is very knowledgeable and he's gonna demonstrate a few other variations of push-ups. Anne has been asking me to do a different uh, couple, kind of uh, push-ups for you to give you an, an idea of how to break up the monotony. So this first one I know is Navy SEALs from the time when I used to work in a prison. And it calls them the prison push-ups. Basically, you're gonna do three push-ups with a mountain climber per leg, and then stand up. Real, it sounds easy, but it, it it's becomes difficult. You're gonna get in the push-up position, go down, up, bring in one leg, go down, come up, bring up the other leg. Do another push-up and stand up. So in real time, it would look like this. So there's that variation. Okay, one thing I did want to demonstrate was against the wall push-up. So if you are not quite at a point where you can get parallel and do a push-up on the ground, one thing that you can do is brace yourself against the wall and you're basically just gonna push against the wall. Now, again, this all depends on where you're at mobility-wise and strength-wise. So you can also put your hands closer together and that will focus more on your triceps. You can spread your hands further apart, and this will emphasize more of your chest muscles. And as you get better and better, and your strength gets improves, you can basically just come down even further and push. Try not to hit your head against the wall. 
but that's a good way to start getting some working up to some of that strength.